and you could just move it around very lightly. What's up guys, Sin Fatal checking in here. Welcome to Cinex TV. Now what you guys see in front of me are a whole bunch of materials that we're gonna be shaping up to look like the Avengers Endgame props. We're gonna be making Captain America's shield, Iron Man's blaster, Thor's hammer, and Thanos gauntlet. Now if you guys see behind me, you guys can see Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer, and there's a little book right there. We're not gonna be making that, but it's just cool little props to have right there. These were very complex to make. This is very big as you guys can see. Compared to this little frisbee I have here, it's really big, right? Now if you guys want to see how to make that, or if you guys want to see how to make Thor's hammer here, you guys go to Next Raker's main channel. That's where we created those. And we created also Thanos' gauntlet and um, Iron Man's blaster. Now, now, we created them on that channel and they were very hard to do took us a while to make that video this video is gonna be a lot easier to do a lot more inexpensive to do so you're not gonna really spend hardly any money you could probably do all of this with um, probably like five bucks guys maybe even less because you might already have all these things so if you're new to this channel make sure you guys subscribe make sure you definitely leave a like and if you like the video make sure you guys leave a comment below let us know how we're doing and maybe let us know what other props you guys would like to see with all that being said guys let's get this video going all right so we'll get started with this it's a frisbee right guys but we're gonna turn it into captain america's shield and basically all we need for this is white tape blue tape and red duct tape and also a blade to make your cuts so that the circles can be really good looking just like the one you guys see in the back and so also you what you guys might want to do is get a little rubber band like i have right here because once we're done making this look like Captain America's shield, you guys might want to take a rubber band like I have right here and we're going to use this to put right in the middle and what we're going to do is put some tape on it. Once we're done with that, this is going to turn into a finger shield. So it'll be like that. It'll be really simple to do guys. All you need is tape for that and maybe a little rubber band which everybody has sitting around the house, right? So let's get started with this. The first color we're going to want to use is red so we take some strips and we just want to put it all around the first layer of the bottom of the frisbee and let's get started on that all right guys so i've covered the first layer with all red as you guys can see right here now it's starting to look kind of like captain america's shield so the next layer that we have to do guys is white and this one is going to overlap that red and that's okay that's no problem because once we make those cuts it'll be fine so let's get started with the white all right guys so now i've covered the second layer all white as you guys can see right there now it doesn't look all that great right guys because we haven't made the circle cuts yet and that's the most important part of this whole thing so the next layer is red let's get rolling with that one all right guys so the third layer is finally complete again it doesn't look very good right but we're not done yet what's next yep you guessed it right it's the blue layer not the final layer because the final layer would be the star but the blue layer so let's get started with that all right the fourth layer which is the blue layer guys has already been taped on there and it's starting to look a bit better now at least the final layer would be the white star guys and we'll get started on that right now as you guys can already see it's kind of looking a little bit like captain america's shield the colors are there but we're just missing the cuts and once we do those cuts this little puppy right here is gonna look really nice all right, so we did the final layer and the final layer is white. So now all the layers are on there and they already completely cover the Frisbee. Now the last thing to do guys is to take a Sharpie and start tracing where you're gonna cut with this blade right here. And so first of all, you wanna start from the top and work your way towards the bottom of the Frisbee and that's when you'll be done. So we printed out a perfect star and we're just gonna trace over it so that we get a better result. All right, so we've traced it. The next thing we have to do is take our blade and cut the outline of the star, which is very simple to do. But if you use one of these blades, make sure you're very careful and you have adult supervision or maybe you have your dad or mom do it for you. Cut the outline of the star. All right, guys, so once you have cut the outline of the star, the next thing you guys want to do is very simple is just peel the excess tape surrounding the star. We'll get started on that right now. So 
So as you can see here, the star is there. I've already made the cutout and it looks really good. So once we're done with that, the next layer we want to attack would be this blue one around here. And that's pretty simple to do. All you just want to do is just take your permanent marker and create a circle around this star. And the rest I'm going to do as well so that I could just go back and make the cuts and it'll be finished. So I made the outline as you guys can see right there. Now what we have to do is just take our blade and cut. So I'm going to cut around all the circles and then just start the peeling at the end to just be finished with the product so I'll go from the top and I'll work my way to the bottom so we've already cut all the circles and now the peeling process begins let's start from the top and now we flip it so the final step would be this rubber band right here and it's simple all you guys got to do is just grab a piece of tape like i have here you want to put it through the rubber band center it doesn't have to be perfect and then you want to stick it to the bottom side of the frisbee just like that very simple to do it doesn't have to be duct tape like we have but it just could be any tape even if you have glue glue will work because this isn't really heavy so once that's done the shield is ready so you just want to take your hand just slip your finger right into the rubber band just like that and you guys ready Bang! look at that i could even spin it with the rubber band isn't that pretty cool guys now what do you guys think you guys think captain america is gonna do some damage in this movie i don't know i've never been a real big fan of captain america he's my least favorite avenger i know that he's a lot of people's favorite let me know what you guys think about him in the movie and also what do you guys think about this shield So this is a replica of the one we made in the back. It's just a little bit smaller, guys. Now, in my opinion, this is lighter weight. If you're trying to deflect something with the shield that's not very heavy, then you probably want to go with this light one because it's not heavy at all and you could just move it around very lightly. Just like that, guys. So up next, what we're gonna do is Thanos' gauntlet. Now, this guy has the power to end the world, right, with this gauntlet. Now, this is gonna be very simple to do. All you need is a dishwashing glove, like I have right here, a yellow one. These are very cheap, you can get at the dollar store for like a dollar, and you just need some colors, just like I have here. Now, all these are Sharpies, by the way, and they're in the colors of the Infinity Stones that go on his glove. Now, if you don't have Sharpies, you can do uh, color pencils or maybe um, highlighters or maybe even those uh, washable uh, markers because I know I have some of those laying around so to do this what we're gonna get started with first is we're gonna take the black permanent marker and draw circles around where those infinity stones go and then we'll just color them in with the sharpies I know that he has one right in the top of his hand so that will be a big circle and I'll do it right about here Now the next ones are not that big. They go about on the knuckles. We'll get started with those right now. So we've already drawn all the circles as you can see right here. Now the last thing to do on this is just to color them in, which is the simplest part. Now I know that the big circle right here on top of the hand is yellow, which the glove is already yellow, gold, whatever you wanna call it. So this is just gonna add more color to it. As you can see, it's, it doesn't really make that big of a difference because the glove is already gold or yellow, whatever you want to call it. It makes a, well, I guess it does kind of make a little bit of a difference, but it's, it's really hard to tell. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Yep, that's about it right there. I've already colored in the whole infinity stone in right there. Now we move on to the, the pinky side of the hand, which is this one right here. And it's also gold or yellow. So we'll fill that one in right now. The next one is gonna be red, so let's get started with that. Now this one should stand out a lot more than the previous two colors, which were yellow. The next one is gonna be a light blue. Now, since we're coloring on this glove and the glove is already yellow and you mix yellow with blue, it creates green, which is kind of a little problem for us. As you guys can see, guys, it kind of looks turquoise or green. The next one is gonna be purple. And the last one is gonna be green. And that one goes over here by the thumb. So let's color that one in. Now, I don't know if you guys are a big fan of this villain, but he has proven to be the strongest one in the Avengers history. And I think he's pretty cool. 
so there you guys have it i've already colored in all the infinity stones and the glove itself already is basically the color of thanos's gauntlet let's put this on and take on his power his gauntlet usually goes on his left hand but for this demonstration we did it on the right hand because i feel more powerful with the right and look at that pretty cool huh now i have all of his power I don't like these purple color permanent markers. <laughs> All right, so what you guys see right here is a mallet. Now we're gonna turn this into Thor's hammer and it's very simple to do. All you need is gold tape for the handle and aluminum style tape for the top portion. So let's get started on that. Basically, you just wanna take some gold tape and start wrapping it around the handle. All right, pretty cool, huh? And that was really simple to do. With duct tape, it's a lot easier because it's already thick. So the handle's already been taken care of. The last step to do on Thor's hammer was to cover this top portion of the hammer. Now, you guys can shape this up however you guys would like. Have fun with it and maybe use as much tape as you guys please. If you guys do attempt this, then leave a comment below and let us know how it worked out for you guys. So we've covered the top portion and now, bam, it's Thor's hammer. Now I have the power of Mjolnir, yep, I can wield it. So what does that mean? I'm of pure heart, just like Thor says, right? Cause in the comics or in the movie, Hulk can't even pick this up. But when you're talking about Sin Fatal, he could pick it up with three fingers. Wow. Now look at that. So there you guys go. It's kind of like the one we made in Nexus channel, like this one, but this is a bigger version, guys. Now, if you guys want to get creative and do a small version, then you go to the dollar store and get a dollar mallet. So you won't spend much on it. And also the dollar store does come with these tapes. They're kind of hard to find. Not all dollar stores have these, but if they do, then you're in luck. It doesn't have to be an exact perfect replica. So for this little test, I want you guys to leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I'm taking the power of Mjolnir on my right hand, which is Thor's hammer. I'm taking Captain America's shield. Now I'm gonna collide both of these and which one do you think can take the impact? Leave a comment below and let us know. Hey guys, just checking in here. So if you recall in the video that I made on my channel, I made Iron Man's blaster. Now that was a cool little prop, but it wasn't the cheapest of props because I did spend about three to four bucks on it. Now this method that I'm gonna show you is way easier to do if you guys wanna attempt to do Iron Man's blaster. And again, for that, all you need is a plastic glove, just like this one. This is a cleaning glove that I got at Walmart. It's usually between a dollar and two dollars. So get yourself one of these. And you're also gonna have to go and dig in through your closet to find an old fidget spinner like this one now this is not an ordinary fidget spinner as you guys can see that it has those light up leds so i'm gonna flip the switch on them so you guys can see and see how they change colors i like that you know it's really cool and it gives it an awesome look so all we need is one guys because this is gonna represent the actual blaster so i'm just gonna pop out one of these bearings so i'm gonna take the glove and on the palm i'm gonna stick it on of course with the switch sticking out like so double-sided tape will be used on this so i'm gonna place it right on the center and then i'm gonna place the led just like that now i gotta do is put on the glove now as i am becoming iron man and that's it guys look i put the glove on and now i have access to the actual led and all i gotta do is flick it on like so and see guys my blaster is ready so i can just aim and shoot. see guys i'm ready for battle it does not get any cheaper than this. All you need again is a plastic cleaning glove, preferably red, and also guys, think about this. I made a more expensive prop on my main channel. This is the cheapest and easiest thing you guys can do if you guys wanna be Iron Man or dress up as Iron Man when you guys go watch Avengers Endgame. So there you guys have it. That wraps up this video on the Avengers Endgame movie props. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you're new to this channel, 
make sure you guys leave a like first of all and subscribe because we're going to be putting out a lot more videos for you guys and you could also check out our other content that we have if you're a fan of the avengers let us know if you're going to go watch that movie i know i am i'm pretty sure next is going to watch it too uh yeah i think he said he was going to watch it twice so let us know what you guys think about that movie how are the avengers going to destroy thanos leave a comment below and let us know what you guys think